All right, YouTube, what's up? I'm on here. The Capitals are officially eliminated from the playoffs to yesterday. The cat That was an uninspiring series by the Capitals. The series starting game four and five, that was awful, awful performances. Like, a va va Backstrom, Carlson, and Oshie were definitely nailing injuries because Backstrom normally stepped it up in the playoffs. He was playing very uninspiring. Kuz Netsoff did not have a good season at all. Chera was a little bit banged up too. Sam Sonoff had the game of his l life in game three and wound up losing. The Caps won game one, but then lose four straight. Like the game two when Taylor Hall scored that goal to tie the game, that was clearly goalie interference. That totally changed the game and it changed the series. Similar to what happened back in 2015 with the Capitals Rangers. The Rangers had too many men on the ice when they scored the goal, which wound up kept it costing the game and the series for the Capitals. Like, I, like the Capitals have not been known to make the playoffs to do well in the playoffs in the Ovechkin era. 2008, give them a pass. 29, give them a pass. 2010, out give them a pass. They should have easily won the cup that year. 2011, should not. There was no excuse to be swept by Tampa Bay. 2012, give them a pass. 2013. That was the E-Rat trade. 2015, give them a pass. 2016 and 2017, one of them two, they should have won the cup. And 20, 2018, well, they won the cup. 2019, I gave them a pass because they partied way too much that offseason. It went up cost them dearly in 2019. 2020, they should have easily won. And this season, see, there's no excuse to lose in five this series. I think injuries were part of the reason why. This team did not do well. They were banged up. I'll tell you the re a reason why Ovi does not have another cup or two was because of that Martin Erat trade. Like they gave Martin Erat and Michael Latta for Philip Forsberg. Philip Forsberg is doing well in Nashville. Erat played one and a half seasons with the Capitals and wound up leaving. Like the Capitals got the steal of the draft and then wind up trading him. Big mistake by the Capitals. The worst GM, worst move in Capitals history, and it went up costing GM GM his job. Mantha was a big disappointment. I, I liked the trade at first, but the Mantha for Verona trade, Mantha did not look good at all. Given, I don't think Verona would have done any better. I, this is how, I think they should just keep the lines as is. Line one, I would have Ovechkin, Action, and Mantha. Line two, Sprong, Kuznetsov, Wilson. Line three, Sherry. If Eller doesn't go to Seattle, Eller, Oshie, or Sherry McMichael, Oshie, Haglund, Dowd, Hathaway. D pair, I, I'd i say if none of them go to Seattle, Dylan Carlson, Orloff Schultz, Chara Jensen. I think he, one of Dylan or Schultz could possibly go to Seattle. If one of them does go to Seattle, I would say either Dylan or Orloff and Carlson. Orloff, or Schultz, and Ervari, Chara Jensen, goalies, Samsonov, Vanacek. I definitely think Sammy's a better goalie. Vanny had some bad games this season. Sammy definitely has more potential. Because Sammy has medium elite, Vanny has medium starter. I can see Vanny starting in other teams, but Sammy will de is definitely the goalie of the future. Then... Got the draft in July. I think that's all to say. God bless America.